The following contest is a six-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the Dragon Lucha Libre Universal Champion, Reese Rivers. Talk about an intense competitor. This superstar doesn't have an off switch. Nobody has an off switch, Saxton. Trust me, if you had one, I'd have hit it a long time ago. The champ does not want anyone making their name at his expense. He plans on fighting hard tonight. And his opponents, first, from Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 156 pounds, the King, Lou Kid Chris. This superstar has a lot of confidence, a lot of pride, but there's also a lot of respect for their opposition tonight. Oh, I get it. Great mind games at work. No, Corey, just respect. Oh, so this superstar is just an idiot. Got it. And from your darkest fears, weighing in at 211 pounds, the devil. This superstar has no hobbies, no stress relievers, nothing outside of WWE. That is the secret to their success and the adoration from the WWE Universe. Well, that's just up until the WWE Universe realizes how one-dimensional this dud right here is. Such a pessimist. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. And from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 295 pounds, Ryan Omega. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition.
And here we go. And from Twin Falls, Idaho, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Dragon Lucha Libre World Champion, Rick Tyler. We've heard a lot from this individual and how important loyalty is, but it's not always clear where their loyalties lie. Maybe they're loyal to themselves. Maybe it's to their mom. Maybe it's to your mom. What difference does it make? Well, maybe they're loyal to evil. Don't be such a child. Doesn't matter the situation, the champion always has a winning game plan. And from Berlin, Germany, weighing in at 176 pounds, the Gangster Leo. This competitor is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. Here, last superstar remaining in the ring is your winner. Attacks from all angles, temporary alliances, and unexpected action from bell to bell. You gotta love a battle royal. Counters! Yeah, yeah. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. What a shot! And the gear finds its mark. Now look at the knees. He's got the answer for that one. Stop to finish it off. There's some power behind that punch. And able to counter. Punch. Knee right on the temple. Nice takedown. He's turning the tables. Paying it right back with a reversal. Big splash. Nice. Now here to wake you up and knock you out. He's lost some of his win now.
nice takedown. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Oh, just turn that around. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Vernon scoop slam. And oh my God, what a fight. That's a job. And he goes into the ring. Turned that one around. He's turning the tables. Oh, right across the solar plexus. Ooh, DDT delivered. I don't like the look in his eye. Just a high proficiency of attacks from him now. He's in non-stop attack mode. Inverted atomic drop, not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about a leg drop combo? Getting set up for something in the corner. Look back on the action from the last match. Here is your winner, Ryan Omega. He really got the better of the opposition here. I agree, it was quite the display tonight. 
This match is why his name is mentioned when superstars get asked about dream matches. Just an unbelievable performance he had tonight, Corey.